we're social researchers and we try to dig out the little things that make a really big difference in lives and relation, really big difference in lives and relationships. But it, we didn't start out that way. And I want to tell you how this whole thing started. Because normally when someone is standing up here talking about relationships, it's a pastor or it's a psychologist or a marriage therapist. And that was so not us at all. I started out as an analyst on Wall Street. Jeff is an attorney. And we were, you know, happily along this, this type of life. And God did this right-hand turn. This whole thing started because when we moved from New York to Atlanta, which is where we live now, um, I had the opportunity to write a couple of novels. And one of, my, one of the main characters in this novel that I was writing was a man. And I realized I didn't know how to put thoughts in his head. Like, I didn't know what a guy would be thinking. And, and so I, you know, it was my main character. I couldn't just say what he was doing. I had to say what this main character of mine was thinking. And so I, it's, this whole thing started because I would talk to Jeff or we'd be out to dinner with another couple and I'd go to the other husband and I'd say, can, can I interview you? <laughs> and as I would ask these men these questions, it was basically, here's the scene in the book, what would you be thinking? if this was you in the situation. And ladies, as these men started telling me what they'd actually be thinking, half the time I'm like, seriously? <laughs> I found myself honestly kind of shocked by some of the things that I was hearing. And I started doing more of these interviews and I realized as I was talking to more and more men, because pretty soon I'm going up to the guys behind the counter at Starbucks and saying, what would you be thinking in this situation? But as I started doing these conversations more, I realized the stuff I was hearing, it wasn't just that it was surprising. The stuff I was hearing, it was really, really foundational stuff. Like, the things that I was hearing from the men, these weren't things that they said that they kind of thought or they felt like off in a corner, it happened once every couple of months. The things that these men were describing were these foundational things that they thought or they felt every single day, multiple times a day. And at that point, I'd been married about eight years maybe, and of course I'm like, why haven't I heard this before? But it, I think that's when the analyst hat went on, you know? And that's where my background in research and analysis came on, and it's a long story, but God made this amazing way for me to be able to do the re this massive research study of men, and that's what became For Women Only, which was the book she was referring to. And, um, and it became this huge, unexpected bestseller. And that funded, the, the revenue from that funded the next research project, which was to help men understand women. And now, over the years, we've now, God has sort of pushed us into this field of social research where we're digging out these little things that you don't know that matters. And it makes a huge difference once we understand this.